Hello there, about time I make a video about my settings for the crew too, so here we go. I use a Thrustmaster T150 wheel with the T3PA pedals, this is how my driver settings look like. If you have a Logitech wheel enable centering spring and adjust it so it has a strong re-centering force when you are driving. Now we move on into the game, a friendly reminder these settings might feel weird for you and if you don't like them, don't use them, for me they worked fairly well as you can see and I'm pretty comfortable with them. Getting clutch to work on wheel is rather simple, however I'm going to show you two ways of using clutch in this game. One way that I used to use, and a newer way that I'm using right now. We're going to start with the easy way. You need to set the gearbox to H shifter plus manual clutch in both wheel controls and controls. Then go to keybinds and bind the keys in the advanced control section as seen. These keys will not change for the next method so make sure you do this correctly. For this method you also want to bind your nitrous button on your wheel so it is on the left side, because you will have to use the keyboard with your right hand. This method is easy to set up and this is how it looks like. It might not be comfortable driving like this but for the next method we're going to need a third party app. The third party app we are going to use is called Anti-Micro, you will find the link to download the app in the description, simply download it and install it. Once you installed the app, you can open it and in the description of this video you will find a download link to an already pre-made macro profile I created for this game. Simply load it up and then select profile preset number 2. The layout will look like this, it's really simple to use once you get used to it. Now we have to fix conflicting binds because main menu is binded by default to the start button and tool menu is binded by default to the triangle button. Follow closely what I do and look at my wheel layout to see what buttons I'm pressing. Keep in mind, depending on your wheel, this rebinding process can get more difficult, sadly the game doesn't have an unbind function yet and likes to swap out multiple binds if you change only one. Also keep in mind if you screw something up in this process and you have to press the reset to default button you will have to rebind the keyboard bindings as well because the default button resets all of your binds from the keybinds section. I use this layout because it leaves my right hand to focus fully on gears and I get to keep the left hand for nitrous and air controls with the D-pad. If you did everything properly you can now shift with clutch only using your wheel and 5 buttons close to your right hand, you get to keep your left hand on nitrous and mid air controls and if the car doesn't need clutch you can use your paddle shifters to upshift and downshift without changing anything. In case you have a different wheel or different button configuration, feel free to experiment with the macro software and change the bindings to your own preference. It is really easy to use and configure, you just need to spend a bit of time for your own comfort. Now I'm going to show you my graphics settings and how to get the low quality graphics I use in most of my videos using a third party app called Nvidia Inspector. You will find the link to the site where we download the application from in the description. Then you will find the already pre-configured profile for the game in the description, download it, open up the NVIDIA Profile Inspector app and import the .nip file, then press apply. And you are done. Make sure you restart your game. End of video disclaimer. Even though we are using third-party apps, you will not be banned or risk of getting banned from official Ubisoft servers. These things were not yet addressed officially however some players have been offended by my use of these tools. Use at your own risk. Hope this video helped, and happy sweating!